Smells like a combination of a Seagram's Wild Berry Cooler and a Jolly Rancher. So this morning I'll be trying out this new mask from St. Ives. This is the Revitalizing Sheet Mask with a Sia Blueberry and Chia Seed Oil. So I tried out their Glowing Sheet Mask a few months ago. It didn't really work out that well for me. It left kind of a sticky film on my face. So I've kind of had this one in my to be tested stash for quite a while and I've been a little scared to try it because I'm afraid it's gonna have that same sticky film result as the other mask. But today I'm going to put this one to the test and hopefully this time we'll have better results. And if you're new to my channel, I have a bit of a face mask addiction. I have like a growing playlist that is a little out of control at the moment of all the other face masks I've tried and the link for that will be in the description box below or you can click right up there to watch. And on St. Ives website, it says, superfoods aren't only for your smoothies. This sheet mask made from 100% naturally sourced acia, blueberry, and chia seed oil extracts revitalizes tired skin by giving it a boost of instant hydration. And it also says paraben free, dermatologist tested, made with 100% cotton. And for ingredients, we have glycerin, which is a skin replenishing and skin restoring ingredient. Glycerin doesn't really moisturize your skin, but what it does is it helps hold water up against your skin and that leaves it feeling moisturized and hydrated. Next on the list is a guave americana stem extract. And this apparently helps to moisturize the skin. It is rich in B1, B2, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin K, and pro vitamin A. It also has anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, next we have caffeine and caffeine is a soothing anti-inflammatory and it also can help decrease redness and puffiness. There's also a tiny amount of fruit extract towards the bottom of the list and uh, my favorite ingredient of all, fragrance. I'm not even gonna go into my usual rant about why they put fragrance in masks because everybody who's watched a video of mine knows how I feel about it. Unfold mask and position over clean dry skin. Okie dokie. Smooth to fit the curves of your face, adjusting around the eyes, nose, and mouth. Leave on for 10 minutes and soak in the magic. So let's crack this thing open. And if this is anything like the other St. Ives mask, there's not gonna be a divider. It's gonna make it tricky to unfold and apply. Smells like a combination of a Seagram's Wild Berry Cooler and a Jolly Rancher. They still make those things. Those are my drink of choice back in my 20s. Oh man, I was right. No divider. Okie dokie. Um, ah, and it's drippy. Mm, I really wish they would put dividers in these things. There's not a lot of slime on this one though. It's just really damp. This one is really damp, but there is no slime, which uh, is good because I'm not a fan of super slimy masks. Uh, it's a little difficult smoothing it out. I think this is as good as it's going to get. There are these little like cutouts along the side though to make it easier to shape and to conform to the edges of your face. So the time is 10.33. So I'm just gonna go and relax for 10 minutes and I will see you guys in a bit. Time to get this thing off. Uh, there was nothing like crazy that happened while I was wearing it. I didn't experience any like weird skin reactions or anything. Although there was uh, like a slight cooling, refreshing feeling, I guess was the only way to describe it. I'm just gonna bring this down my neck a little bit. Because the serum wasn't like ridiculously sticky, it seems to be drying pretty quickly although it's still a little damp. So I'm just gonna give it five minutes to dry and then I'm gonna come back and do like a test to see if my skin is still like tacky. Alrighty, skin's had about five minutes to dry. Let's do this. I don't see any like pullback on my skin. Doesn't seem to be any stick. So everything looks really nice. I mean, my skin looks nice and hydrated. I haven't had any sort of weird skin reactions or anything. My skin looks nice. There's no sticky residue at all. I live down the street from a fire hall. I mean, overall, I think this is a pretty decent drugstore mask considering it was only $3. I don't know, the only thing that's a little off-putting to me is the smell. I still smell that wild berry cooler smell. It just feels like I took a bath in it. Well, not really, but the smell lingers. I can still sort of smell that sweet, fruity, grape, 
type smell. I don't know what to call it, but it definitely smells like wild berry coolers. As far as the hydrating properties of this mask, I do like it. I mean, looking at myself in the viewfinder, my skin looks really nice, but um, I don't know. I don't know if I can get past the smell. My face doesn't feel sticky, but I just can't shake this feeling like I want to wash it. Yeah, I don't know. I really can't see myself buying this one again just because I can't get past the, uh, the fruitiness of it. It just kind of feels like my skin has been soaked in fruit punch. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.